Hey guys, it's Crystal from Milking Beauty and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you always know when I'm uploading a video. And for those who are not new to my channel, welcome back. And I'm super excited that you guys are here today. Um, I actually filmed this look um, mainly because I wanted to try out two things. I wanted to try out my new foundation, which I am obsessed with, by the way. And I also want to do this in um, Sir John inspired eye look. So John is one of my favorite makeup artists online right now. I just feel like he's so ahead of what everybody else is doing. Um, so I saw this this picture online um, that he did of this other model and I was like drawn to how simple it was but so amazing. So I wanted to do my own version of it and I think I did very well. Um, but yeah, the main focus of this video was just the dewy skin which I think I slayed. Ah, what do you think? Um, so I guess there's nothing else really for me to say. Let's just get into it. So to start, I'm going to go with my Emberlee's Multifunction Nourishing Moisturizer. I actually got a recommendation from one, a really good makeup artist here in Toronto. Um, and this product is amazing. It's perfect, um, especially under matte makeup, which is what I typically was looking for. Then I'm going to go with my Fenty Beauty Hydrating Primer. Um, and I'm just going to use like a foundation brush to kind of apply that all over my face. Then I'm going to go in with my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer. What I love about this primer is that it really makes sure that any eyeshadow or eyeliner that you put on does not move around on your eyelids. I did my brows off camera using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Pomade in Dark Brown. Now for my eyes, I'm using the Tarte Clay Play Palette. I'm using two shades to create this eye look. I'm using the lighter shade on my lid, which is called Journey, and the darker shade in my crease, which is called Timber. To get this perfect winged liner, I'm using the Fenty Beauty Fly Liner in the shade because I'm black, and I've also used that to create the other crease liner. I don't know what to call it, but you guys know what I mean. <laughs> And now I'm going in with my NARS Natural Radiant Foundation in the color Cadiz. This foundation is every bang and more. Um, the foundation is supposed to last up to 16 hours and before I took it off that same day that I filmed this look, I think I was at hour 12 or 13 and this makeup looked flawless. My skin looked flawless. Um, the makeup or the foundation is super breathable, it's lightweight, and it still gives you that full coverage look. Um, when I first applied it the first time, I had tried to use a foundation brush, but I found that it works a lot better using a sponge or a beauty blender, just because I feel like it really soaks into your skin or blends into your skin a lot better. Per usual, I'm going in with my Fenty Beauty Concealer in the color 340. Now I'm going in with my MAC Studio Fix Fluid Foundation in the color NC50. I love using this foundation just for creating a natural contour. Um, I still contour my face with a bronzer after, but I find that this gives you that base to really make sure that your cheats are snatched. And now I'm going in with my Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder. Using my Beauty Blender, I'm just picking up some of the product and applying it sparingly under my eyes. Um, it does come across a bit yellow at first, but don't be alarmed. As you continue to work it into your skin, it definitely blends out and looks perfect. Yeah. 
right is what you call it, can he pay? Southern Arizona fell in love his day. Angel Brown, yeah, cute face, solid graduate. Now going in with my Fenty Beauty Sun Stalker Bronzer in Coco Naughty, definitely my favorite. I'm just going to use this to kind of add some color and bronze my entire face. So typically I focus on the same areas that I applied my um, darker foundation to earlier. Now using Milani's Baked Powder Blush in Dolce Pink, I'm just going to get my cheeks nice and rosy. Now I'm gonna apply a little bit of white liner to my lower waterline just to open up my eyes a little bit. I'm also gonna follow that up with my Milk Kush Mascara um, just to separate my lashes and really get my eyes to pop. Now using the Pat McGrath Sublime Skin Highlighting Trio, I'm going in with the fine gold shade and I'm applying that to my inner corners. I'm then going to spritz my face with a little bit more setting spray or rose water, whatever it is that you guys have at home. And of course my handy dandy fan is gonna get it a little bit dry for me before I go ahead and apply it to my cheeks to really get my contour together. Look how beautiful that is though. Absolutely amazing, I, I love this trio. And I decided to go in and apply a little bit extra product using my finger just to make sure, um, I didn't want the, the pigment to be transparent, I wanted it to, to be a lot more solid and my brush just wasn't making the cut. So when in doubt, use your fingers guys. Don't forget your chin, your nose, and your brow highlight. Now I'm gonna go with my NYX matte lipstick in the color Brunch Me. I'm also gonna put a clear gloss on top just to give it that extra sass. I'm now using a sample actually of the MAC Prep and Prime um, setting spray because I don't know why I've never used it before. I've always used rose water and I must say, I'm feeling it. And just like that, we are done. I am obsessed with this foundation. It is everything. Thank you guys for tuning into my video today and I'll see you all in the next clip.